Hey everyone, Chris and I are going to do a short video. We want to show you how we finished our entertainment system. Woo! Finally done! Woo we're putting the rear surround speakers in. The cool part is the LG system is wireless. We're going to show you how we mount them, where we mount them, and let you know if the end result is worth the work. Stay tuned. I'm sure the number one question is going to be, all right, how are you mounting it? So let's get that out of the way right now. We're using the Hi5 system that is in Amazon. It will be in our cart. What I like about it, it's lightweight, it's plastic, and it's easy to remove. So it slides right in place. It tightens down with a little bit of a retention nut. What I'll do is when we're sitting still, I'll mount them. When I'm traveling, one screw, this pops off and I'll pull it off. So I don't have to worry about it bearing weight while on the road. I'm gonna use Gorilla Tape behind it. So we'll put the Gorilla Tape here and then we'll put the screw here and here. And then it has these nice little cosmetic flaps they go over the top like that we're all said and done this will be a quick fix and we will have true dolby atmos 7.1 cali appreciates it are you excited surround sound baby woof woof <laughs> so clear gorilla tape 38 pounds no particular reason for the weight. It was literally what I grabbed from Walmart. I can say already, this crap is super, super sticky. So. So the mounting tape's on the bottom. I'm gonna test where I want it. I'm gonna drill pilot holes so that I don't have to screw with it. And then I'll pull the mounting tape off and mount it up with two screws. It should be a really quick fix. What are you doing now? I'm tightening it in place because this is the angle that I want. So I'm tightening the retaining screw, uh, which is just a little Allen. That way they don't wiggle. And when we travel, this is exactly how they'll be. I won't actually uh, leave the speakers on there. Of course, I put this one up upside down. <laughs> you just love a challenge. It's more fun that way. Yeah. Okay. Good thing is it didn't need much. All right, there we go. Now. So what's next? Next, we wire in the speakers. The cool thing is it's wireless, meaning that I don't have to wire anything across the RV. The module's directly behind the couch, so I get to crawl around like a little snake behind the couch, hook up the wires, and let's see how it goes. Let's do this. That didn't work like I thought. <laughs> Seemed cooler in my mind. <laughs> well, I think we all have those moments. I'm like, oh, this will be epic. Wah, wah, wah. All it turned into was a knot, which I guess means it was not cool. Kelly, was it cool? Or was it not cool? Tiny little wires. Makes for a lot of little fun. So I feel like you're a little experienced in stereo equipment. 
I might have a problem. I would be what you would qualify as a audiophile. <laughs> Do your job, lady. Hold one. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So when we're sitting here, that's how they'll be. And I'm going to cut this down because that's way too stinking long. See? They'll sit just like that. So Chris did have a different solution, and it was going to be these stereo speaker stands. <laughs> and then he's like, no, I got one better. Better, worse, plan B. Yeah. So this is the LG wireless speaker kit. It plugs in right here into your normal house plug. And on the back of it, it's just got the input for each side, left and right has a nice little ferrode so that it doesn't uh, make a whole bunch of noise. Look at that, they even drew me a picture, honey. That's fantastic. All right, it's plugged in, wires are in. We're gonna test it before we clean it up. Don't worry y'all, I'm not doing this for long term. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna see how it works. If you don't know, Chris's pet peeve is wires hanging loose anywhere and everywhere and looking like a rat nest. Can't have no raggedy wires in my trailer. Nope. Callie's on the edge of her seat. She's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Callie and I are really happy with the speaker installed back here. It sounds amazing. Chris did a great job. It complements the stereo system he's already put in here. So if you want to see what he did beforehand, watch this next video.